looking at the Techniques machine. I'll show you, go around the machine so you can see what it looks like. Side panels are a little dusty. They look like mirrors, as does the front. Finish looks like it's 100 feet deep. See how nice everything looks. Let me show you the other side. Black has a way of getting dusty, so if it looks dusty, it is. <laughs> you can see how deep that finish is. You can see my toolbox and everything in the shop through it. Now I'll take it and I'll hook it up, put a tape on it, and make a tape so you can see the thing run and hear it work. Okay, we're going to put the, the machine through its paces mechanically. Pass forward. Stop. Nice brakes. Rewind. Stop. Real nice brakes. Play. See the three speeds lock in perfectly. And we're going to make a tape now of um, a Bobby Caldwell song. Get it in a record mode. Um, he died this year. It's too bad. Uh, we went to see him every year. He was really good. But anyway, we're going to listen to a song now. We're in the source position, so we're listening to the CD. Tape. CD. Tape. Great sound. In that moment, the touching feels so right. You can't be wrong, my darling. To enjoy some traffic bliss here in my arms, my darling. There's a windswept show you a little bit about the meters this button here should always be in the in position if it's in the out position like it is right now you can see how hard I'm pounding the VU meters um, if you have it in the out position and you're hitting the thing hard for record those things are going to be pinned all the time so push that button in leave it in and you can still record hot, like I'm doing right now. You don't have to be afraid of hitting the needles up into the red. It will not distort. Now your bias and EQ switches, right here. As long as you use an ATR tape, they should be in the middle position. If you flip these switches up, either one or both, you decrease the highs. So if you got something that's really, really bright or really lacking bass, you can push those things up and it'll turn the highs down a little bit. If you're in this position and the tape is really bassy while you're recording, you can push those down and it'll increase the high frequency. 
but for the most part if you got good clean tape and everything you're going to want to leave that those two in the center position um, any other questions you can let me know Source, tape. Let it run out. So you can see the shut off. So you got all your mechanics are working nicely. The sound is incredible. It was a very difficult machine to do because of the condition of the boards and the caps, but it went back together nicely and it's looks great and sounds great and works great.